It is a special day for baseball here in Chicago. We've got two games, both games on Comcast Sportsnet, starting at one with the Sox and A's, followed by the Reds and Cubs here at Wrigley. You know, when Ernie Banks said, let's play two, this is what he was talking about. Oh, he wasn't talking about this? Let's go back to U.S. Senator. At Wrigley Field, everyone's talking about the return of Dusty Baker, but here on the south side, it's the return <laughs> of Ryan Sweeney. Welcome back. Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> We miss you, but Brian Anderson really misses you. <laughs> That's what Przinsky yesterday said he was, he was walking around and just uh, all happy and excited. <laughs> happy and excited. I don't know if I believe that, though, because that dude never calls me. But <laughs> I'm sensing some separation anxiety between you and Sweeney. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, it's devastating, man. I mean, I can't, I don't even know what to do. I mean, it, that, it'd be like if I had to part ways with this guy right here. Joe Creedy? That guy's an absolute yeah. character, so... It's it stinks, man. I mean, I'm happy for him. I'm, I'm glad to see that he's doing well, but at the same time, Joe, I'm in the middle of an interview over here. Yeah. Can, can you can you please stop for a second? I'm a professional? No, you're not. He does it to me all the time. <laughs> Is that professional? Cub fan. Yeah. So Sox fan. Absolutely. Going to both games. Yes. yes. For sure. So we're talking roughly eight hours of baseball. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to be a great day. The Sox are going to go to the playoffs. Cubs, I don't know, not so much. So. 100 years, baby. We're going this year. All the way. Strong. So, Nancy Faust, <laughs> Dusty Baker's in town. You got a song for Dusty? Dusty, dust in the wind. Dust in the wind. <laughs> Cry? It might. <laughs> That's good. I'm crying right now. Oz, uh, you got a message for Dusty Baker? Well, you know, well, first of all, I think coming back in town is, is something you always remember. The message is no belief in the people want you out of here. They, they're going to treat you like a yo, you the king, you was a great guy. They don't. You want to come to the game with us? I wish I could, but I don't like baseball that much. <laughs> All right, the Sox game is over. The Cubs game is about to begin. Now, in rush hour traffic, this could take like an hour. But on TV, it only takes a second. All right, we got to deliver Ozzy's message to Dusty. He said, I'm pulling for you. You know that. Don't believe the fans because once you leave, they treat you like a king, but they don't really mean it. Hmm. That ought to go in Ozzy's book of quotes. <laughs> when Dusty comes out, what are you going to do? You know what, man? When he left, I was actually one of his biggest fans when he was here for a long time, but I think I got to boo him. I'm going to boo the hell out of him. I hate him. I'm going to boo him so hard, I can't stand him. But you're not. No, I like Dusty. He took us to the playoffs. He's a good guy. He was good. That was one year. That was one year. The rest were terrible. Well, not a very positive reaction to the former Cubs manager. All right. You guys made it here to Wrigley, Absolutely. and a nice win for the White Sox. Beautiful win. Great defense, great pitching. Can't ask for a better day. You're ready for a Cubs win. I am so ready for this win. Ready. Ready. And Tammy, you got one. It's a Chicago sweep. Now that's what I call a perfect day. Chuck Garfine, Comcast Sportsnet.